Hey guys, so um, I decided that I was going to do a vegan camp out as plastic free so that I could then do a video on how you can go camping basically and uh, be plastic free. Um, so I thought this would just be really some interesting kind of thing to do um, and useful for other people as well. Um, so yeah, so it's it's the night of what we're on, it's like Wednesday night or something but I've got to have all my bags packed for tomorrow to head off to my friends so we can then head off to camp out on Friday so it's really complicated but I'm packing my toiletries now so I'm going to go through with you what I've got okay so um, for my toothpaste um, basically because the one that I buy comes in this massive great jar here from Geo Organics basically like whenever I've brought stuff from Lush I keep the little pots and I can just put as much as I want in here so when I go um, I can just have this little pot filled with what I need and I don't have to buy any of those ridiculous little plastic tubes that you get um, so yeah so I can do that something else I'm taking will be my suntan cream in here so if you want to know how I made my suntan cream um, I didn't really make it from scratch it's kind of like a two products from Lush mixed together um, if you want to know how to make this if you head on over to my YouTube channel um, and I have a playlist for Plastic Free July and I can't remember what day it is but on one of those days I go through how you can make plastic free sun cream um, so I've got that with me my wooden toothbrush no need to buy a new toothbrush for camping seriously just take this one okay so and the thing about being plastic free is if you've already got things like shampoo bars um, soap that without the plastic, soap bars um, and shaving bars, what you can actually do, depending on how long you're going for, these little tins come from Lush. Now I've actually got just my shaving bar in here, but basically what you can do is you can actually cut chunks of off of like all different soaps and you can store them together in one handy little tin. So I've got like two pieces in there, but you could do that with like, you'd have a little square of your soap, a little square of your shaving bar, if you need to take your shaving bar and a little square of your hair um, or shampoo bar um, and you can put it all in a little tin now I'm only going for a few days and because it's kind of like festival sort of thing I'm actually not going to be taking soap or anything but I thought that'd be really good for you guys um, but I will be washing <laughs> I'm just taking a minimal amount of stuff um, so that's that deodorant wise I'm going to be taking this one here is like a, a cream stick deodorant so you can get these from a few places online um, again if you look on my plastic free july uh, playlist i did one on deodorant and basically yes yeah, so these are plastic free and again you can even cut little chunks off and take as much as you need with you so yeah i've got that for my deodorant to make sure i don't smell i'm all sorted right and this one here is going to be a bit of an experiment so we're going to see how these work for the weekend but i have attempted to make my own wet wipes now because um festival camping can sometimes get a bit dirty and you don't always have that great shower so i'm going to show you what i've done here so in this i've got there's two tubs there's an empty tub and this tub so what i've got in here is if we open it these are simply just cut ups i've just i literally just got to a kitchen towel cut it into squares and put it in there now what i did was every few every like three four sheets I like rubbed on my bar of soap basically and then sprinkled some tea tree oil the reason I use tea tree oil is because it's a natural antiseptic and it smells lovely too and now the idea is that what I will do is each morning I will put like a handful of these in this tub with a little bit of warm water just enough in the bottom just to wet them and theoretically I should have my own handmade plastic free wet wipes so we're going to see how that goes i've seen other people do similar things so i'm hoping this works and as far as space goes it's not oh, i've lost my elastic band now um it's not that bad like it's it's about the size of the pack of the wet wipes but it's not disposable it's not got plastic packaging on it that you're gonna to have to throw away it's not bad for the environment so i'm really hoping these work out well um and i'll give you an update at the end on whether they do or not um I mean, you do have to buy a um, mirror essential oil, which does have plastic on it, but to be honest, I also use this for the next product I'm going to show you to reduce your plastic. So if you're going for a little bit longer and you want to take like your stuff to clean your face every morning, then I recommend you take, mine is empty at the moment, but your reusable cotton rounds. Again, I did a video on these from Plastic Free July. Have a look. Um, I can't remember what day it is, but I did a whole video on these. So I'm going to, you can take those with you. And then what I've got in here 
is um, my own homemade toner water. So I normally use toner water in the morning to refresh my face, remove any makeup residue. It makes it just feel a little bit fresher. And I normally used to go and buy this one from Lush, um, which is really great. And they do use recycle um, all their plastic and they use recycled plastic. So that's great. But I wanted to do something a little bit extra. So I looked online, I looked at a couple of different recipes for this and then I kind of like added a bit of them together. So the rest, a few of the recipes I saw, um, recipes says like cooking um, the mixtures that I saw were kind of like half cider vinegar to half distilled water um, but I don't really want my face smelling like cider vinegar so I settled for a third cider vinegar two-thirds water and then um, I put in this bottle I put about 20 drops of my tea tree oil in it again because it's um, and kind of like a natural antiseptic and anti-inflammatory so if you've got any like red spots or anything it'll be really good for those um but have a look online because there are other people have done blogs on this about what you can put in your toner for your different skin types um i'm quite lucky i don't have particularly dry or particularly oily skin i can kind of just put anything on there really i've never really had any problems so but yes yeah, so have a look get yourself some essential oils make some wet wipes make some toner um i think that is all of yeah that is all of what i'm going to be packing in my toiletry bag for myself for the weekend um and we'll catch up with you soon as well on um what food we're going to be taking so because me and my friend are actually doing this together i said i was going to go plastic free for camp out and she's decided she's going to do it with me so there's actually two, two of us doing it so yes um and we'll go over to the next video so we're on the way to vegan camp out and because we're going plastic free um this is my friend sam who's driving us um and because we're going plastic free for car snacks we actually went to the zero waste shop with our plastic tubs and we've got banana chips and chocolate buttons so we're all set up at vegan camp out so i'm going to show you guys what we've brought with us for food so even though there are food vendors here basically uh, we're too poor to eat from there like three times a day so we thought we'd bring some food with us um so we've gone for some bottled beers and carver and this is homemade vegan mead plastic free we've got some lemonade plastic free and then we brought cans these are cellulose based so they're not plastic same with these these ones here they've got paper kind of on the outside and i'm pretty sure there's cardboard on the inside basically we've got lots of loads of cans of foods so that we can eat plastic free and then i've also brought with me my trusty keep leaf my cutlery set and this metal steel tin that I can take to the food vendors to have them fill up so I'm hoping for the whole weekend I'll be able to eat plastic free. I want a coffee. <laughs> it's like 12 o'clock at vegan camp out on the first night and we're continuing our plastic free by going and getting coffee in our e-coffee cups look at this and it was cheap coffee as well because they took 50p off for us reusing it and then so yeah, but did they take a pound off? A pound off, pound. For taking your own cup, and we've got onion barges in paper towel here. So 150, plastic free. So it's the first morning in camp out, and you saw my video on how to make, um, well, the video I did before I came where I showed you how I'd made some homemade wet wipes to bring. Um, so I used them last night to remove my makeup, and they actually work really well. I'm really happy with how these came out. So basically I just have like, Two plastic tubs and one of them has got some pieces of kitchen towel that like every few sheets I just rubbed a piece of soap on and then put some tea tree oil I have just like a second empty tub and I just put a bit of water in and like a handful of um, these and then um, basically yeah like they're just homemade wet wipes and they're really refreshing and they smell nice of tea tree oil on your face so these are a definite success and I'll definitely be making these again for when I'm camping so it's the first morning um, at Camp Out on Saturday and we're continuing our plastic free. I've gone and trapped myself to churros for breakfast that come in a cardboard and my friend over there is going to be eating her <laughs> <laughs> is going to be eating baked beans out of her can because um, baked beans because uh, you know canned food is plastic free and we didn't bother to bring an oven so call baked beans for breakfast. We're having our last food at Vegan Camp Out. We've actually managed to do the whole weekend plastic free. <laughs> We're now eating sushi wrapped in paper. These are actually delicious. So I hope you found my plastic free camping videos there really useful um, and hopefully you'll be able to learn some stuff from them on how to be more um, environmentally friendly when going camping and how to be more plastic free. Um, 
so I've actually also written a blog about this as well so if you wanted to know a bit more information because I don't have kind of like my own blog website it's going to be put up on the Arjuna Whole Food um, internet page so I'm going to put a link to that in the bottom as well so you better click on that and have a read if you wanted some more info but um, always feel free to just drop me a comment if there's anything you want to know um, more about um, and if you like my video as always please give me a thumbs up and click subscribe subscribe um, cheers